Professor Cohen, can you tell me why you feel that early intervention is important rather than waiting until a later date to, to intervene in, in somebody's case of autism? We've been very concerned for many years that diagnosis happens way too late. So autism starts probably prenatally. Uh, the signs should be there in the first year of life. And yet most kids don't get their diagnosis till at least three or four years old. And often not till primary school, sometimes secondary school or even adulthood. So we're missing out on opportunities for helping the child, providing support as early as possible if the diagnosis is late. So if we're trying to improve early diagnosis, then surely we should also be putting in place or having ready early support, early intervention, whatever form that might take. Because ultimately the goal is to have a child who's happy or an individual who's happy to help the family because we know that having a child with autism adds stress to the whole family and to help that individual, that child, to fulfil their potential. And we can talk about what kinds of early intervention, but the point really is that as soon as you can diagnose, you should have something ready to, off to offer. Otherwise, what's the point of the diagnosis?